to win three straight NBA championships and is still the all-time winningest coach in Fordham University basketball history. A member of the great class of 1948, Johnny Bach is truly a man of Fordham. The Johnny Bach Award is presented annually to an individual whose life has had a substantial and lasting impact on the sport of basketball and who best emulates Mr. Bach's drive and passion for excellence. Tonight, the 2014 Fordham men's basketball team honors basketball coaching legend, and as of this past March, the president of the New York Knicks, Phil Jackson. Considered one of the greatest coaches in the history of the NBA, Phil has coached his teams to an NBA record 11 championships. Yeah, that deserves a hand. As head coach of the Chicago Bulls, he led that team to six championships in nine years. In 11 seasons as head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers, Phil guided the team to five championships. He has the highest winning percentage of any coach in the history of the NBA, and he has coached players considered to be some of the greatest basketball players of all time. Originally drafted by the New York Knicks in the second round of the 1967 NBA draft, Phil was part of two championship winning teams with the Knicks. During his 12 seasons as a player in the NBA, Phil Jackson averaged 6.7 points per game. Born in Deer Lodge, Montana in 1945, Phil has five children and eight grandchildren. He has authored several books, including the New York Times bestseller, 11 Rings, The Soul of Success. If I can just go off script for a moment, how often in life do you get to be in a room with somebody who is the greatest to do what he ever did? And that's, that's what we are right now. So in my life, I've had the opportunity twice with Mariano Rivera and Phil Jackson, the greatest who's ever done it. And it's now my pleasure to reintroduce Dave Roach to present the third annual Johnny Bach Award on behalf of Mr. Bach to Mr. Phil Jackson. It's truly an honor and a privilege to step in for Coach Bach presenting the Johnny Bach Award tonight. There is certainly no one more deserving of this honor than the Zen Master, or by his Lakota name, Swift Eagle. His impact on the sport of basketball during his career has been tremendous. He has set a standard for excellence and success that may never be duplicated. While a student at the University of North Dakota, he studied psychology, philosophy, and religion. In 2008, his alma mater awarded him an honorary doctor of letters. We have all heard and know about his NBA accomplishments. Few know that Phil was a four-sport athlete in high school, playing football, basketball, baseball, and throwing the discus and track. Phil was an outstanding basketball player at North Dakota. You've heard about the second round by the Knicks and everything. But while in North Dakota, he also played baseball. Phil started his coaching career leading a Babe Ruth baseball team in his hometown of Williston, North Dakota. Phil was recently quoted saying, those memories of coaching kids and going through those long hours of coaching both morning and afternoons and the evening baseball games are probably what got me going in the profession. What a journey it's been from tonight's Johnny Block Award winner from Babe Ruth baseball to the Hall of Fame coaching career and now president of the Knicks. Please join me in awarding the Johnny Bach Award to Coach Phil Jackson.
Thank you, Dave. Michael? I was told that Breen was going to be here tonight, and he let me down. <laughs> but that's all right. I see him almost every other night, it seems like, at this time of the year. So we'll catch up another time. <clears throat> for you uh, athletes, best wishes for your season. Coach Tom, you too. It's a real struggle, I know, to get underway and get started. And we've gone through our struggle trying to get our, our team uh, started this season. And we've got off to a pretty good start so far, so we're pretty pleased with how we've begun. <clears throat> For you uh, younger people, and there's not many in this audience that probably remember Johnny Bach. There's some people. How many people remember Johnny as a coach here at Fordham? There's quite a few. That's nice. He was a character, and um, I came to New York with the New York Knicks the last season he coached here at Fordham in 66, 67, 67, 68, and he moved on to Penn State, and I picked him up then as an NBA coach later on in Golden State while he was uh, there as an assistant and as a coach of the Golden State Warriors, and then we became colleagues together with the Chicago Bulls for seven years. Johnny was one of the kind. He was a twin. His brother was lost in the service. Uh, his airplane uh, as a Navy flyer was lost at sea in the Pacific. And Johnny was a ensign, a gunnery ensign. Um, he was proud of his Navy uh, accomplishments. He actually picked up flying and uh, wore his brother's Navy uh, wings all the time on his wrist in a gold band. He was a, a penmanship person. He loved to draw. When we did reports together for our upcoming teams, Johnny always had interesting diagrams on every report, headed off with a gargoyle or something that was uh, bringing a touch to the spirit. He was proud of being a, from Brooklyn, he was proud of being from New York, and he was proud of his enterprise in basketball. He, he loved the sport but he was a man of all seasons. He had a great education here. He actually was awarded a Hall of Fame award at Brown where he, he got his uh, OCS uh, Ensign degree or his Ensign award there at Brown and he was proud of his service for the country. Uh, Johnny was involved in a landing party in Japan. He told me the admirals told him to bring back samurai swords and obi belts or sashes. So. He was part of the landing party that went in and, and had a, a great uh, story about his uh, war effort and uh, being on a, uh, the ship that fired um, 27 howitzer rounds every two minutes for 24 straight hours when they took uh, Okinawa. So he had a, a history uh, that involved service, warriorship, and he brought that to the game of basketball. The, um, one of the things that uh, Johnny asked me to do, uh, or actually taught me to do when I assumed the uh, head coaching job at the uh, Bulls organization, was something that uh, Vince Lombardi taught the freshman basketball team here at Fordham. And I used it every season with my basketball team. Now, Lombardi lined them up on the baseline in one long line, and he stood in front of them and he said, Fordham University and God has ordained me to coach you guys, and I want every one of you that is willing to be coached and accept my coaching to step across that line, if so be it. And of course, you never had anybody that didn't want to be there. <laughs> but I used it because it was, a, it was an affirmation about being coached and being part of the team. And Johnny was a great team player. So I take this award with a uh, great amount of pride, happy to receive it. And my final thoughts about Johnny Bach is that when he talked, he always said, there are two Bs I learned in talking, be short and be seated. So here I am. <laughs> Thank you.
Congratulations, Phil, and uh, best of luck with the Knicks and your endeavor as the president of the team.